Aww. Welcome to the trivia party. Welcome to Trivia Night, an endless onslaught of devious torment. But in like a no pressure, let's all have fun kind of way. Except, you know, I will kill people. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And you still have time to join the audience and potentially get killed by me. It's fun! I hope you enjoyed the time and effort I put into that slideshow. Now let's play! Okay now, first question. I hope you keep up with politics. Which dignitary introduced the Puppy Bowl in 2014? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? <laughs> the rest of you, I have a surprise for you! Welcome to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. Your life depends on how you answer. What's the best advice a parent can give their child? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Reading that thing, hit send. Answering was not optional. Only one of you left, huh? Well, get out of here, you scamp. And here's
Here's how everyone stacks up early in the game. But you're all number one to me. Alright, next question. What's the name of Willie Nelson's legendary guitar? Shoes. Now I'd like you to make some art. Now, no pressure, but you will die if you screw this up. Your favorite thing to eat. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. Pick the drawing that you hate the most. Bent a little spleen. You told me I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick you up. Pick the drawing that makes you go. This shall not pass. Drawing. <laughs> the votes are in. <laughs> the people have spoken. Kind of against their will, but they have spoken. <laughs> so, I just killed you and you're totally a ghost now. And what's really spooky is that ghosts can still win the game. Death is not the end. Just to prove this isn't a fever dream, here are the scores again. Let's try another one. What country does the Tropic of Cancer cut through? Everybody loves math. Oh, Answer as many oh. math questions as you can before time runs out. If you do the worst, you die. Let's pick some math. Wow, this is just like watching a beautiful mind. This math fun is about to end. <laughs> this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. <laughs> but deep down, didn't you know one day math would kill you? 
<laughs> Is this a weird time to mention I'm allergic to wool? Well, it's true. I just wanted to get that out there. And I feel braver for telling you. Next question. Where will you find the historic Globe Theater? Vegetable is bok choy. Some word. fun with spelling. Right. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. Just ignore any blood on the letters. Oh, and all these other players get to play along too. And if any of them spell a longer word than you, you will be punished. We've pretty much started, so don't dwaddle. The letters don't have to touch each other. And remember to press submit when you're done. Almost out of time. Almost out of time, Ooh, let's see what you did there. Let's Not see if anyone me. beat you. You could have done better. You know, like all those other people who did do better. You just died. You think you know who your friends are, and then they viciously attack you in a trivia game. Same old story. Oh my god, Yo-Yo, Spencer's Yo-Yo to just one player has finally come to fruition. Let's do this. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Sriracha ingredients. Step on each answer that fits, then press submit. the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. Aww, you have to get answers right to get closer to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Books authored by Donald Trump. Crippled America. How to make America great again. Donald Trump. Time is almost up. Here comes the next question. Egyptian gods. What? To 
Decisions, decisions. Uh-oh, that ghost is gonna get ya. Beware of the darkness. Foods you can eat on the paleo diet.
Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. Have a microphone? Uh, I don't. Like your earplugs? Mm -hmm. No? You do! Give me your earplugs so I can talk. Earplugs? Yeah, earplugs. Give me earplugs and headphones? Yeah, my headphones. Yeah, your headphones. Why? So here? Yeah, I can talk. Oh, come can on. I, can I talk? You can talk too. Okay.
Testing, testing. Can you hear now? Oh. Okay. Trivia Night, a thoughtful treatise on the futility of life. But there's trivia, games of skill, and lots of unnecessary violence. It's fun! I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini-games. If you do badly in the mini-game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, those can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Oh, and anyone watching the game can join the audience. Why let your friends hop all the pain? Oh my goodness, will you listen to me? Going on and on like the voices of the birds that tell me what to do. Let's get to the game! Okay, first question. What ingredient is in a bechamel sauce? My collection is running a little low. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. Easy, right? All you have to do is endure blinding pain. Have at it. Ah! It puts the finger in the basket. Here's how everyone's doing so far. It's real early though, so don't freak out. I've got more questions for you. I hope you've got really good long-term memory. When did Neanderthals roam the planet? Poison to use. Pick a chalice to put your poison in. And it's your turn now. Pick a chalice to drink from. I bought most of these chalices at a garage sale. The former owner seems like a real weirdo. I can see it unless I can see a screen. I don't know what you're 
Oh, so you did see the spoon. No, I don't know you. Mm. Oh, you Hope it tasted good. Now let's see what everyone drank. Yes. Shh. Embrace okay, the light, my sweet dove. <laughs> a little bit of poison goes a long way. Let's take another moment to appreciate this cool scoreboard, huh? Let's try another one. How many teeth are adult humans supposed to have if they don't lose any in a botched self-dental procedure? answer is this. One of you is still alive. Let's go someplace fun. I like to give all my victims at least the illusion they could escape. Why aren't you spinning the wheel? I'm really confused. Spin, my lovely. Spin. Thank you, loser wheel. How many waterfalls make up Niagara Falls? a memory game. Everyone gets to play this time. Memorize the pattern. Alright, let's put these away. I know this is a weird time to bring it up, but I just learned to play the glockenspiel. Wanna hear? That was an Alicia Keys song. Could you tell? Ah, eh, forget it. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? If any of those other players do better than you, I will be very unhappy. Familiar? How close did you get? Wow. You got it exactly right. Ugh, let's see how your friends did. We'll get you next time. Let's try this again. What was the name of the business in the British version of The Office? for you. Isn't it about time for some fighting? You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you can grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. Now go say hello to some people with your fists. Ah, uh, 
Yes. I bet you feel dumb for defending when uh, no one even cared enough to attack uh, you. And if you don't feel dumb now, this should help. Oh my god. You can check out a full breakdown of my tiebreaker rules over on my website. Also, my charcoal sketches. They're, uh, pretty terrifying. <laughs> Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you've made it here alive. But can you escape with your body? I'm going to give you a category. African deserts. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Almost up. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. This is so close. 
this a real photo finish? Man, it carries flavors. He's downstairs. Come on in. We've used these two tiny surveillance microphones hundreds of times. So you swallow this one. Okay. And what about the other one? That one's a suppository. Or wait, is this the one you swallow and the other? Um, maybe you should go see our doctor. High five! goes off when the world's man bun population has eclipsed 15%. What do we do? We head to the basement and we wait it out. Okay, everybody, file out in an orderly manner. Remain calm. Oh, yo, yo.
Hey, Dimitri, you watch The Americans? Um, yes, every day. That show is nuts. All the makeup and wigs and their whole wardrobe is crazy, right? I don't know. I look at metadata. I don't know from wigs and makeup. No, Dimitri, I, I know you watch Americans. I'm talking about The Americans on TV. But there is always Americans on TV. Do all of them wear wigs now? No, I... It's a TV show. It's not average Americans walking down the street. Yes, this would be stupid. You see this already on the closed-circuit security camera. Why not? Do you even own a television? No, not the incentive of Seinfeld. Okie dokie. Good talking to you, Dimitri. Yes, good talk. Hello from the government. Feel free to wave. We're watching everything. People eating ice cream, ice cream eating people, you name it. This is very sensitive info. We've sworn to protect it. <laughs> Sorry, hard to say that straight. We use it to play... Gespionage! Oh, well, guess what? We're now collecting live data from the audience. We'll be asking questions specifically about them if we collect enough data. Otherwise, we'll use what we already have. Let's go! First up... See you leaving. You know, I kind of still believe that aliens helped build the food pyramid. What percentage of people pretty much always look at nutrition labels when food shopping? Try to guess the correct percentage as close as you can. The closer your guess is to the correct percentage, the more points you win. And if you are in the audience, don't forget to answer the question. Got it, 82%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? is lower and surveil says 21 percent oh my god within 30 percent so no points for you so who picked lower Ooh, points for you okay who's up next high five we've collected data about everything even this What percentage of people would choose Morgan Freeman over James Earl Jones to narrate their lives? Seventy percent. Okay, higher or lower? Again, and surveil says oh. 68%. Oh. Just wow. missed it by two percent. Nice guess. Nice. No one guessed correctly. Woof. Next up. Okay, computer. What do you have for this one? What percentage of people have eaten spam in the past year? You're almost out of time. 83%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Okay, let's see the right answer. 17%. That's a pretty low percentage. Fine, more for me. Let's see who got it right. Well done, you get points. We made it through round one. Let's peek at the score. High five. Not bad, but things are a little different in round two. I'll explain as we go. Let's start with you. 
Maybe this will turn you on. What percentage of people turn off all the lights in their homes when they go out just for a little while? In round two, you can now guess much higher or much lower. Pick one of those if you think the answer is off by 15% or more. If you're right, you'll earn double the money. If not, you'll get nothing. Looks like an even split. Okay, right answer is... 70%! Thank God for binoculars and the 30% who keep their lights on. Am I right, guys? Anyone? Perverts? Who got it right? Here's some points! Who's next? High five! And speaking of last weekend... What percentage of people have ridden in the back of a police car? Sixty percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Why is that just criminal? What do you think? He's even. Everyone is saying lower. And the correct answer is... 34%. I'm sure most of them were ride-alongs. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. And what have we here? Good job. Double points for saying much lower. Yeah, I got double points. Okay, who's up next? I don't know. How about... What percentage of people have insulted their smartphone's intelligent personal assistants, like Siri, just to hear the response? Five percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? Believe it. Right. High five. It's unanimous again. And the correct answer is. Wow. Sixty-two percent. Oh Excellent answer. Points for you. No one got it right. Uh-oh, final round time. We let the computer scour petabytes of data to find the most popular answers to this question. Besides caviar, what food do people most associate with the wealthy? Let's see what people think. You have three chances to pick the most popular answers on the board. Ready? Go! All right. All right, let's see what everyone picked. And what are the most popular answers? Oh, lobster, wow. Yeah. Who's my hero? Who's my hero? It's... Oh, 
Oh my god. Congratulations! You've won a game that should probably be illegal. I'm so proud of you. No, that's still because Spencer needs to go. Can we play another one? The, the, you don't know Jack. Okay, no. And is it JackTV.com? Or is it? Yeah, like Fox. Hold on, I can exit this one. 